Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie, and today I am back for my 37 week pregnancy vlog. So back when I had Evelyn, 37 weeks was considered a full term safe to have a baby anytime after 37 weeks and it still generally is considered safe however they now call it um, early term so your term but it's really good for the baby to stay in another two weeks and now 39 weeks is a full term but it's good to know that at any time if baby girl came it would be safe and she would probably be just fine. We can have our home birth and all should be great. So that's exciting. Stats for the baby this week. She is approximately six and one third pounds over 19 inches long, which is the length of Swiss chard. Like I've said in the past, I tend to grow my babies quite a bit larger than that. So. I honestly wouldn't be shocked if she was more like seven or eight pounds already at this point, but we will see. So for me, my weight gain this week, I gained a pound and a half. I'm not too thrilled that I've been gaining like a pound and a half several weeks now. Um, it's a little more than I would prefer, but that does put me at 27 pounds total that I've gained. So I still feel okay about that. My goal um, weight to end at or below is five pounds more than where I am now. So hopefully, hopefully I can still meet that goal in the next three weeks. Hopefully I don't gain five pounds, but then again, if I keep doing a pound and a half, I might. So we will see. Symptoms this week, I'm actually feeling really good overall. I've had energy, I've been, accomplishing a lot. I've been feeling pretty good overall. Sciatic pain and some pain I was having in my backs and in my pelvis has gotten a lot better, which I really contribute that to my couple of visits now to the chiropractor. But I've just been feeling really awesome, so that's nice. Um, I do feel like she did drop a little bit lower just because I do feel pressure here and there throughout the day that I didn't feel before so I think she might have dropped a little bit but I don't really know that for sure and I am having a large appetite I'm very hungry but I'm also doing a lot so that's probably part of it and yeah that's basically my symptoms right now nothing alarming nothing big or abnormal at all. I did have my home visit midwife appointment at 36 weeks and four days. Um, unfortunately, my actual midwife was sick and had what she thought was a virus that she didn't want to spread to us. So she didn't come, but the assistant midwife and midwife in training, who is also Steven, my husband's cousin and a great friend of mine, she came and went ahead and went on with the appointment without my main midwife, which was kind of fun. We were supposed to have everyone at the appointment that was planning to be at the home birth. My husband's mom came because she's gonna come and help with the kids. My sister-in-law came because she's gonna help do some of the dueling stuff. And then all of us, and then I'm also gonna have um, a photographer and a couple of other people there as well. My Fundal measurement was about 37 and a half, and I was 36 and a half weeks when they took it. So I was measuring about one week bigger. My cousin, she did say that she also thought the baby had gotten lower since the previous appointment at that point. And they brought the birth pool and went over our plan and like kind of our hopes and dreams and what we thought, what I might be okay with, what I probably wouldn't be okay with, where I might be throughout the house and all that kind of stuff is what we went over when we were discussing the home birth. Friday of this week I will have another midwife appointment but that was my 37 week appointment. It was just a little bit earlier than the day I turned 37 weeks because they came here for the home visit. This week we, my husband and I, last weekend we made 
15 freezer meals for postpartum. We got a babysitter and we spent about six hours making freezer meals last weekend. So that was crazy. We got all those freezer meals made. We have them for after the baby is born and especially after my husband goes back to work. We caught up on all the basic house cleaning, bathrooms, dusting, all that kind of stuff. We finished our homeschool year. My daughter, who uh, she's very advanced in her homeschooling. She's five. She finished her first grade, all her first grade curriculum. So we are finished with that, which is awesome because that frees up our time in the morning now that I can go for a walk or work on my to-do list for cleaning and preparing for baby or even just rest. To the chiropractor again, like I said, I've been two times now. So this week I went for the second time and I'm just feeling really good from that. And he said at that second appointment that my pelvis didn't seem as like off like it was the first time and he thought that I had taken really well to the adjustment and so just to call him when I either felt like I was in pain and needed to be adjusted or if I wanted to come in and try to get labor started and there's a few things he could maybe do when that time came. That is it for this week. Not a lot of crazy stuff going on. I can't believe that definitely at this point we should have our daughter here in less than a month. Even if I go overdue, it should be less than a month. But I'm actually 37 weeks and three days today. So um, time is just flying by. 18 days left until my due date. That is insane. So pray for me guys. Pray that these last few weeks will be relaxing but also productive and we're just trying to really enjoy our time as a family of five before we add another baby into the mix and get everything ready for her. I do have my baby shower next weekend. I almost forgot again to show you my belly and I really wanted to actually show you guys this time. Uh, last week I just inserted a picture because I forgot and didn't realize it till later but I just finished and here is my 37 week belly. Alright so there's to the side. you again so much for watching and I will see you for my 38 week pregnancy vlog unless she comes in the next few days but highly doubt that so thank you guys again see you next time bye